This is a parabolic microphone. And this past spring, I got thinking, is it possible to make your own parabolic microphone? Moreover, I have a good friend who does nature sounds recording as a hobby, and a parabolic microphone would be a good addition to their set of tools. So, I set out and designed a parabolic dish in Blender as well as... Wait, 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 wait. What are you even talking about? What is a parabolic microphone? Well, here's a quick rundown then. Let's start with a microphone and a source of sound. Usually, we just point the microphone in the direction of the sound and we can record it. But oftentimes, the thing we are trying to record is out of reach and far away. In this example, the incoming wave of sound has roughly the same amount of energy as was captured by the microphone alone in the last example. Look how much sound just misses the microphone! So we realize that we need to increase the sound collection area if we are to get a better recording. We make a good guess and figure that an open dome shape should be able to collect and reflect sound at the microphone. Let's also flip the microphone around because that's where the collected sound is going to come from. Unfortunately, as we can see, even in this case we end up losing a fair bit of the sound. In addition, the sound may come out slightly distorted, due to the slight irregularities in the time that it takes for the sound to arrive at the microphone. So we realize that we need a way to somehow make sure that all the sound gets reflected at the microphone at the same time. We need a focus. Luckily for us, this problem was solved, quite literally, thousands of years ago. The simple geometry that allows us to focus the sound waves is called a parabola. Would you look at that? No reflected sound was lost. And, well, this is it. This is the gist of how a parabolic microphone works. Now, where was I? Ah yes, I went ahead and designed a parabolic dish, a structure to hold onto this video mic me from Rode, as well as a simple handle to be able to aim the microphone. I then went ahead and 3D printed all of the parts on my Prusa Mini Plus using PLA plastic. I used a layer height of 0.15mm and a 0.4mm nozzle to speed up the printing process. But ideally, the finer the detail, the better the result. After printing the parts, I slightly sanded the inner surface of the parabolic dish using P400 grit sandpaper. And to finish off the assembly, I just had to place the microphone properly in the focus. Boom! We have a parabolic microphone. But does it actually produce any better results than if one was to just use the microphone alone? Well, I went and met up with my friend and during an evening excursion we found a good spot to test the microphone with a song of a thrush nightingale. The following are some comparative samples with no modifications to the sound files.
Right. I do have to say that there is a slight boost in the amplitude of the birdsong, as well as ever so slightly less noise. So, surprisingly enough, this tiny 3D printed parabolic microphone actually works. To a degree. Indeed, I certainly suggest making an even larger parabolic dish if any of you, my dear viewers, wants to replicate this project. In addition, it may be a good idea to print the parabolic dish out of ABS instead, in order to be able to use an acetone vapor bath to make the surface of the dish smooth. And finally, the actual microphone I used in this project isn't really meant to be used in a parabolic microphone setup. Look up microphone polar patterns for if you wish to learn more. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or tips to add, then make sure to leave them down in the comments. And as always, have a great rest of the day and I hope to see you again for my next project thing.